Hello, my name is Nancy Watt and I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little card. So easy as well. So we're going to start with our base card. It's white cardstock. It's a square card and that measures 15 and a half centimetres square. So it's almost um, half an A4 folded in half and then just a trimmed. Now we've got some uh, orange cardstock here. It's just, just under about the 15 and a half. We've probably lost about um, three mils, I would have thought, from that. And you can see these little silhouettes in here, and that's because I've been very frugal and done some die cutting already. I'll show you those in a minute. So we've got some tape on the back, and we're going to mat and layer. And as I may have said many times before, this is to create all our, um, our, they're like frames, they're pulling your eye into the centre of the card. It just makes it look that little bit more pristine. I've got a piece of yellow card here, now let me give that a measure. That is just about 14 and a half centimetres. This is going on with foam tape. Go straight over the top, and then our final bit of matting and layering is one that I have prepared earlier. This is another yellow square. It's just it's a yeah it's twelve and a half cent twelve and a half centimeters square. It's been matted onto some white cardstock, trimmed around to get a nice narrow border. That's going to go on the top. It's got foam tape on the back as well. This is also not just about matting and layering, but when you give it, um, when you use with your foam tape, what it does is it helps to create some some shadows, and it kind of gives a real nice depth to all of your paper crafting. I'm just going to turn that around, put it on there like that. Okay, so now we've got um, our little giraffes. Now these were. Just move that over. Already cut, you can see we've got a little orange one and a little right and a little white one, and they really are incredibly cute. Now, why I've got two is because I want to have a little shadow on that giraffe, and it really helps to make it stand out that little bit more. So I'm just going to use a bit of detail glue just where there are some gaps that I can pop the glue onto and I'm going to just offset it literally and because this glue because it uh, dries clear it's going to allow you to move it around it's got a little bit of maneuvering time so there we go we've got our two little giraffes now so let's take the card back in and I want to start placing these little giraffes because I've also got a couple of other bits to put on. Now we've already done this, we've set, already done this um, little sentiment to today. You can print that out on a, on a computer or you could even write it. And I've also got um, that's uh, been matted and layered with foam tape again onto some orange. And we've used the Tattered Lace Essential Circle die set to get those. That's going to go up there in the corner, so that's why I want to make sure that I've got enough room for my little giraffes. So put them there. I like quite like that going up there. So covering up the corner, it almost looks like a sun. Now I've also got a little bit of foliage, and this is the panorama grass. It's the small one, and that is going to look fabulous because it looked like the little giraffes are out there on the savanna, <laughs> if that's the right word. Okay, so I'm going to take some, um, I'm going to stick them down with glue. And then I will put the little grasses on with um, some foam tape. So let's put you out of the way just for a very, just for a little minute and pop the first one there. Because whoever's going to get this card is obviously two today, so it's nice to have two little giraffes on there. And I just think that these make fabulous, fabulous children's cards. So there we go. Put them together like that. I've got, actually I've got a bit of tape on the back. I've already done that. 
that's going to go over the top it will fit just nicely over the little giraffes so let's take this off this is super sticky and this what we've actually done with this is we've pieced it because the die itself stopped here so we've just cut another one and added that on I'm going to leave that now. I don't want to stick this down. I think that looks really cute. So the last thing we have to do is to put our sentiment onto the card. So let's pop that over there. And that's just with regular double-sided tape. But how cute is this?